Okay, so we're on Dantooine, and uh, it's time to go and talk to the Jedi Council. Do I have to? Yeah. They've... But mom, I don't want to be a Jedi. What kind of kid would ever say that? The one that wants to stay with his mom? Now, when I was a kid, I Can so I wanted to be a Jedi. No, that's not an actual door. There, there's no yeah, actual... Yeah, but then you'd have to leave your family and, like, go play with Yoda all... Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, you're just making it sound way more awesome. I'm so glad they included that dialogue. Oh, yeah. If you are it really adds to the atmosphere. Perhaps the Jedi sure does. I'm afraid... Please do not disturb me. I'm pressing matters... Man, they all seem really cranky. Yeah. Hi, Deezra. So I may call you by your name. I guess I should be nice. Yeah. Um, probably two is not the right answer, but that is the one I'm inclined towards. Let's say it. We saved her. He of messed up face. Dantooine is one of our last refuges. The Sith hunt us everywhere. Well, Leia is the one who we we talked to before. Yes. We thought we were a Padawan. Yeah. And we probably are going to be. Yay. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there, I should lie to the Jedi Council. That's probably the best call. There's like it's not like they have a magical ability to be able to tell about that sort of thing. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. One or two. Doesn't matter. I feel like two is what a good Jedi would say, so let's go with one. Okay. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force. And each other. This is not on Ooh, back to Kamala. Form between master yeah. and student. A but powerful connection. So quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. <laughs> are you saying I am joined with her? You and she <laughs> as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? See, now that's why I wouldn't want to be a Jedi. <laughs> because it's a long and difficult path. So... Is three, would that have been an option if I hadn't done so many dark side things? Probably. Probably two? Sure. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. So what you're saying is we're the we last resort. Jedi in yeah. Quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals. Ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. I thought Other they already Jedi knew about it and just didn't want to attack it. Yeah, because it's so strong. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Hmm. 
Man, why do I have to do the stupid light side? <laughs> All right, one. Sure. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I guess one. Yeah, let's do it. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. All right, well, let's do it. Let's, let's become a Jedi Knight. All right. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Man, we just a character with an ugly face. Yeah. Masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. <laughs> Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress... Montage! Gonna oh take a montage. I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Wait, are we Jedi's now already? Soon that was convenient how easy end. that's been. You will be granted the title of Padawan. Oh, okay. The lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. Okay. Let's... Okay, let's ask questions yeah. first. Look at some you info. mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign. But I perceive the, yeah. the one's lust for knowledge, knowledge is, is, you know, is bad. bad. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes. And that's why we're rushing you through this ago, process. When yeah. The Mandalorian threat first arose. Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the outer rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat the Council feared had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. So they started out good. Yeah. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan, Malak, and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something... Maybe they noticed them. you weren't helping innocent people? Twisted. Yeah, maybe they should have... Maybe you should have sent more experienced Jedi to help, to help guide them. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The 
dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You know, I always felt like the Jedi just did not approach things well, but maybe I'm just too cynical. <laughs> you have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not sure there's much to do except for... Train? Yeah. We can see. I think well, let's that's read that about our options. Okay. Now, now that we're actually going to be Jedi. All right, Guardian. Focus on combat training, and the lightsaber. That sounds fun. Yeah. Consular. Do force things. Yes, they're strong in the force. That sounds fun. What about Sentinel? They're the jack of all trades, Jedi. Okay. And that's just, yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's go train some more. Now that we've cleared our mind and are approaching it well. And we can learn to be Jedi. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? He's got like a weird triangle on his face. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess we can continue Soon our training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those oh, who are the Jedi. Oh, we have to order. prove ourselves Yet worthy? Prove yeah. Ourselves. Man, can't you just make me a Jedi and rush me through the process? As handed down from master to people over a thousand generations. Three tests. You must successfully complete three Why is it always three? Earn your place among the I don't know. That's just the way it is. All right. Should we ask about the test or just take them? Let's well, just take them. Let's just take them. Go in blind. We'll see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to partner. Yeah, you've already told us that. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. All right, let's do it. Greetings, my young pupil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon your apprenticeship in okay. traditions and customs of. What? Why? Can't, how do we just the, take them? I'm ready for the test. Say that again. First, okay. There is no emotion. Uh, there is no emotion. There is. I, I know. I think it's the light, the force. No, um, I I should know. I think it's there is. I think there is peace. Is correct. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no. So chaos. so I guess we're going for the opposite. Basically, harmony. There is no death. There is the force. I've learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be I knew I knew the Jedi code well enough to do that. Order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Oh, we get to actually make them? Yeah. Cool. We get to get our own lightsaber now. Sweet. Where is Dorak? Probably over here. Wait, oh, that's there right. he is. Okay. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you. 
As do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your light. Oh. This color also reflects your Wait, really? It means something? Within the it's order. not even a permanent choice. Like, you should choose your position and then ultimately you can later get other color crystals. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out to There's yellow ones? I thought it was only green, blue, and purple. Delight. There's yellow. Bastola has a yellow one. Oh, yeah. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Okay, which one should we do? Um, do you have a preference? You seem to like just stabbing things. Yeah, but that's because we already picked all the two weapon fighting and all that stuff. Yes, and we can use that regardless of which class we do. It's just consider that our consular, we're going to be focusing more on our force powers... And Guardian will just be doing lightsaber stuff. Sentinel would be like a good jack of all trades if you want to be able to do a little bit of everything. Let's go with that then. Okay. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons and she screams to you for help. What do you Stab do? him in the face! Well, the second one does match your first reaction there. Yeah, but I, I think three is probably a sentinel. Well, we're not bound by the choice that they, they tell us here. I mean, like, we'll, well, we can answer the questions and then pick whatever we actually want. Let's, let's go with three. Indeed. Okay. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Um. I don't know. Part of me kind of likes all the mental stuff. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of two. Okay. But I, I think they want us to say three. If I mean, we're going to be a sentinel. Yes, but again, we can choose whatever class we like. Yes, Fine. I as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do Stab you Stab the door! Knock! <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm going with knock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Um... It's a trap! Well, when you say that way... Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited consular to? Consular is the, the jack-of-all-trades one? Or no, is that that's, the, that's the Force. Sentinel is jack-of-all-trades. And Guardian is pure lightsaber. And remember, the color... I mean, the color is not a permanent choice. You can get whatever color crystals you want later on. I like the Force stuff, but... The force stuff doesn't allow us to be, like, in close range in the heat of things. Right. So we can be a lot more get in with our lightsabers with the other two. All right. Let's go with the Sentinel. Okay. Even though Consular sounds cooler. I mean, if you want to be a Consular, we can. Let's do that. Okay. Here is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jari. Well, now our feats are going to be not fun. Construct it. Well, I mean, you know, we still are a Jedi, and we still have a lightsaber, so we're still going to be better in melee than, like, say, Mission or Useless Karth. Definitely treat injury. That's a good thing to have. That we'll have plenty computer? of force points now. Yeah, computer use, sure. Oh, actually, I like persuading people of things. Um, remember, we will be able to use force persuade on a lot of stuff now, too. Is that a thing? Yeah. Is that different from normal persuade? Yes. And actually consider repair might be good because we want to be able to... There's there's a there's a side quest chain that's quite entertaining that you want to get your repair up for. Okay. 
sweet. So, um, we could get better with our two-weapon fighting, perhaps, so that we don't miss so much when we're using two lightsabers. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Powers! So now we get force powers. Um... Burst of speed is pretty good. Alright, let's get that one. Alright then. We get one more. Ah, very nice. I liked stun. I'm a fan of stun. Yeah, that was pretty good. Get a get a free stun on somebody. Alright. Oh hey. Yeah, our companions get to level up too. Yay! I'm a fan of him being strong. Yeah, raw strength. Treat injury? Sure. Awareness? Why not? Repair? Sure. Okay. Why is he all red? Um, because he's like very dark sidey. Is he now? Yeah. Aw, oh, what a jerk. All right. What do we want him leveling up in? Well, he shoots a lot, so maybe dexterity. Okay. Skills. I'd like him to not die, for now. And that's he, that's the one point he gets. Feats. Uh, let's get him to be a better shot. Sure. This works for me. You have to hit a uh, add feet. Yeah. All right. Sure. Now back to Master... What's his face? Yeah. Jar Lester. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lights. He talks so slow. He does. He's trying to teach me patience, isn't he? God. Must be it. The jerk. Oh, hey, a workbench. Oh, we don't get to see the process of making one? That makes me sad. Oh! So we don't have any special crystals to put in there. Okay. We just have a standard lightsaber. Sweet! So now we probably want to wear clothes rather than armor. Why? Because armor interferes with your ability to use the force. Oh, lame. We could give him Davik's war suit. Give, uh, Candorous? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's just wearing clothing now. Sure. Oh, his clothes are so ugly. Well, that's because right now we're just wearing nothing. Oh. Let's put on clothing. We'll probably be given Jedi robes at some point. Oh, okay. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that. Ooh, we're First special and awesome. Yeah. These Go crystals us. are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Sweet! It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it, but you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a light. Can we be on the dark are side? You ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I mean, we are able to, yes. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. 
Even here on Tatooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. So you want us to go take care of it. The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. All right. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. All right. Well, that's quite good to know. And everything's all shaky right now. But I think that's a... There we go. It's a good place to end the episode. It's gone a little bit long, and we've constructed a nifty green lightsaber. And I hope you'll join us in the next episode, and have a good day.